all right guys welcome back to three styles for another video it's been a little while i've been busy um but today is uh, november 11th guys 3 15 current time houston time uh, today we're going to be doing an update on jumia ticker symbol j m i a before that i want to look at the market real quick every, every time it starts to go down i like to look at it for you guys so give me 30 seconds a minute of this so i could show you because usually with the market it might pull down the rest of the stocks right so here is where we currently are and if you notice it's november if you notice all my videos from back over here i told you it was probably going to be a down cycle right here and it sure enough was however i was wrong i was thinking it was due here to correct but no i was a little wrong but that's fine but like i do tell you and that's because yearly it does usually take a down cycle two usually two down cycles if not one at around december or november i'm sorry september late september early october or late october early november right and just as i said that was what that was with the one from november september october i'm sorry like you can tell guys i haven't done a video in a little while <laughs> and then currently we're starting a cycle uh, down in november so hopefully this won't be too bad and it'll start picking up again by december so that's what's going on right now guys it's usually that's usual year to year okay so guys but so on jumia you like you know i like to analyze the month the three months the six months and sometimes the year and that's because i have different um statistic uh data to analyze on each and i don't want to jumble up chart you know so let's begin guys so looking at my hma 14 this blue dotted line that's my fastest swing trade signal guys so um if you don't know the channel i'm a swing trader that's how i trade but i am very profitable with it i'll, I'll link a video in the end i always do um so if you could compare trying this way compared to just holding something but yeah guys so um as far as how i use the hma 14 line this blue dotted line so if the, so if the candles are over and i'm buying if they're under i'm selling right so that's how it is and right now they just jumia just turned to the downside on that signal about three trading days ago and i also look like to look at the psars right in the month uh you can see psars where they're over it it's it means that it's a down cycle when they're under it's a up cycle right but because it flipped up here so much the pieces are kind of just all around this way it's uh because it's uh, well i'll show you in the next menus menus why uh, it's more of a midterm signal and uh, as you can see the volume has been pretty average there was one spike here but it, it didn't end up meaning much it didn't hold that much and then it went back down under so like it finished with very low volume today for for it being jumia on the three months guys on the three months i like to look at the macd and nothing to say here because it's been so much consolidation so it's it's just been flip-flopping guys a bit negative a bit positive a bit negative a bit positive and now back to negative the rsi hasn't been either overbought by much or oversold by much it's just it's basically just doing its sideways thing that has been doing for about what is this three months yeah two two and a half months now guys so nothing too important to read there but we're gonna see in the six months is the sma 21 and this is more of a traditional trading line a midterm line my hma 14 is my fast line nobody really usually it usually is my own parameters but the hma 21 if you can see if you, candles go over it you're buying if you're under you either take profit or sell right so over here you wouldn't you shouldn't have bought nothing you should have taken profit over there over here got it back in and then under here cut it back in like under and you wouldn't have missed much but overall what you're looking for um, is for everything to start building over the HMA 21, right? But there's more signals. Um, like for example, the S8. Well, I'm gonna show you. Well, I'm gonna finish for the HMA 21 first. So if the candles are finishing under, and guys, showing a little more of a down cycle coming. So in the year, we are gonna look at the SMA. Here we go. This, this 50. The the brief, and that's what I consider the healthy and unhealthy line, and most people would too, of a stock. So no matter what kind of cycles it does take, if it goes, if it still maintains over the SMA 50 then it's uh you would consider it a healthy stock when it goes under it then it will be unhealthy right and look at how that's kind of been been the case not only that um not that usually the SMA 200 doesn't usually come into effect because it's such a long-term signal but when it eventually did cross the SMA 50 which is over here the SMA 50 the purple remember and that's called the death cross when it crosses and i'm going on a down pattern and look what happened Poof, it went straight down right similarly when that line crosses it in a positive way which was somewhere somewhere over here the stock started jumping up and that's actually called the golden cross so that's all i wanted to see it's a quick review nothing to tell you here nothing big big signals on it it's more mainly just consolidating i don't have made a video on this but you guys like me making videos on jumia but um yeah guys so if you do want a buy-in signal wait till the sma21 crosses 
the SMA 50, the purple line, okay? If you ever get it, this cross, then that'll be your safest signal to buy. It did do it here, but it didn't last long. Like I always say, test it for a week and a half to two weeks, then the signal will be for real, and it will be a real uptrend, guys. Uh, guys, I also started linking a Weeble. Um, link in the bottom if you want to start trading with Weeble, and you let me know later on when you get your two free stocks that it was from you. I wouldn't mind helping you out. Just make your, your uh, charts the same as mine. Uh, just let me know about that. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. Uh, there's no strong indication like of anything right now, like I told you in most of my videos, but I did want to make a little update for you guys. If anything, it's looking like it's going to go down a little more, but that's only a short-term signal. There's nothing positive going up upwards right now. Like I told you, if you want to make sure, just let the SMA21 cross the SMA50, guys. That's the best chance of it. But yeah, guys, um, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and see ya.